press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello children. In the last class, we talked about Bohr's model, right? Bohr's atomic model, where he told that in any atom, only certain special orbits are allowed. Not every circular paths are allowed there. Electron cannot go in any circular path. It has to go, it has to run or it has to revolve around the nucleus in some particular orbits only, known as discrete orbits. And he gave names for those. The first one is known as K shell, L shell, second one, third shell is known as M shell, fourth one is N shell, therefore K, L, M, N. <coughs> so these are the shells, the first four shells in any atom. So today we talk about how the electrons are present in an atom, how they are arranged in any atom or how many number of electrons will be there in particular orbits that is in K, L, M, N. So this was suggested or this was given by the two men, one is Bohr and another one is Buri, R L Buri, B U R Y, right? So here today concept is how electrons, how the electrons are distributed are distributed in the shells, in discrete shells or in discrete orbits or particular orbits K, L, M, N, O, P like this, right? <coughs> Children, those two people, those two scientists, Bohr and Bury, Bohr and Bury, right, they give some three rules to accommodate electrons or to put electrons in the given shells, K, L, M, N. So they formulated three rules. The first one is a maximum number, max number of electrons that can be present or that can be accommodated in a shell, that is maximum number of electrons maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated or that can be present that can be present in a shell in a shell is given by the formula is given by the formula 2n square 2n square following maximum number of electrons that can be present in a given shell is given by the formula 2n square what is n here this n represents the number of shell the number of shell that is, if the K shell is there, it means the first shell, that is N value is 1. I just given the values of K, L, M, N in the last class, right? K shell nothing but what? First shell, that is N equals to 1. L shell is second shell, that is N equals to 2. N is the number of the shell, right? Now, our discrete shell or energy level, it, it can also be called as energy level. In higher terms, energy level index number energy level index number n can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 like that for respective shells k, l, m, n like that. Now if there is an atom which has nucleus in the center, now the first cell is what k shell how many electrons can be accommodated or can be present in this K shell is given by the formula 2n square. For K shell, for K shell, the value of n is what? 1. Right? Therefore, number of electrons in K shell, max number of, maximum the power, limit to the maximum number of electrons in K shell is given by 
टू एन स्क्र और से वैल्यू ऑफ एन ईयर फॉर के इट इज वन देखो टू इन टू वन स्क्र इक्वल टू वॉट टू इक्वल टू टू देखो इन द फर्स्ट सेल दट इज इन द के सेल इन एनी आटम ओनली टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स कैन बी देयर ओनली टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स कैन बी देयर नेक्स्ट सेल इज वॉट सो दिस इज के सो मैक्सिमम टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स should be present in this k shell now the next cell is what l shell right l shell we know that for l shell what is the value of n it is a second shell therefore n equals to 2 n is equals to 2 what is this n says that's the energy level index or the number of the shell eshne shell adu one ed erne ed murne ed anta torusutta ashte adu इन हयर टर्मस प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम नंबर अंतल पीयूसल बंद कलती सद्य बेड एन इक्वल टू दे टू इंटू टू ओल स्क्वेर एन जगह टू हाकि टू इंटू टू ओल स्क्वेर आलि टू स्क्वेर अगर फोर फोर इंटू टू एट आयत अल इन दैकेंड से मैक्सीम दट इन दल से मैक्सीम नंबर आफ एलेक्ट्रा इज ओनलीलेक्ट्रा मैक्सीम एलेक्ट्रा कैन बी प्रेसेंट इन दैकेंड से थर्ड से maximum number of electrons that can be present in that shell m shell the third cell is 18 electrons only is 18 electrons now in the same with the fourth shell n shell k l m n k l m n right so for n shell n value is 4 therefore 2 into 4 square Four square is sixteen. Sixteen two is thirty-two. Therefore, maximum thirty-two electrons can be present in the fourth shell. So this is the first rule for the accommodation or the distribution of electrons in any atom in the given shells. Therefore, in K two, in L eight, in M eighteen, in the N thirty-two maximum electrons should be there. It is not just the organ gill. Are they answered? Right. So two eight eighteen thirty two two eight eighteen thirty two in the fifth shell for O shell K element O that is n equals to five two into five square five square means twenty five twenty five two is fifty so maximum fifty electrons will be there right so like this electrons can be accommodated in the given shells so this is the first rule. सेकेंड रोल नल्सती सेकेंड रोल ऐसी सेकेंड रोल से सो इन शार्ट कट बरती टू L only eight in M eighteen in N thirty two electrons maximum electrons right second <coughs> electrons are not distributed are not accommodated in a given shell that is electrons are not distributed are accommodated. in a given shell until given shell until the previous shells until the inner shells until inner shells are filled inner shells are filled inner shells are filled अंदर अर्थ इफ एन आचम कंटेन सिक्सटीन एलेक्ट्रा रईट सपोज एन आटम इज देर अंड इट हेज सिक्सटीन एलेक्ट्रा इन दट 
so you say that in the yam shell in the third shell 18 electrons can be put there can be put there in yam shell so why can't so this atom which has 16 electrons in that i am going to put all the 16 electrons in the third cell in the third cell here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 16 can i put all the 16 electrons in the third shell i obeyed the first rule what is the first rule in the third shell only maximum 18 electrons should be there here i have 16 electrons so i can put all the 16 electrons in the third shell this should not be done as per the second rule electrons are not distributed in any shell until the inner shells are filled until the previous shells are filled we have to fill the previous shells first then to the next that is electrons are distributed in the shells in stepwise manner from first to second then to third then to fourth not directly third not to the fourth directly not to the fifth directly if we can say that electrons are not distributed in a given shell until the inner shells are filled first olagirthakantana tumkonta hogbeku fill maartta hogbeku that is electrons are distributed in stepwise distributed in shells in stepwise manner in stepwise manner have the length of the 16 electrons and so first we have to fill the first cell that is k shell how many electrons can be filled in k shell two electrons so one two yes to do 14 in the second shell eight electrons can be filled therefore one two three four five six seven eight so in total and last attadu in next to the r will so let's put these six electrons in the third shell ava game martini so one two 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have to fill the electrons like this. Following, that is, if an atom has some electrons, we have to fill the electrons from inner shells to outer shells with respect to the first rule. Inner shell will have the most inner shell, that is K shell. The first shell will have 2, the next one will have 8, the next one will have 18, the next one will have 32. As per that, as per that rule, we have to fill the electrons. Since we have 16 electrons in that atom, in any atom, the atom is sulfur. So we are going to learn that in the next class. So if the atom has 16 electrons in that, we have to fill 2 in the first, 8 in the next, so 10 last, so the remaining 6 in the third shell. We have to fill like this. So we obeyed the two rules, 1, 2. Followed here? So we obeyed the one rule, I mean the first rule and second rule. We have another third rule. The third rule is maximum number of electrons present in the outermost shell, in the outermost, under Kone shell, in the outermost shell should be 8. R is 8 should be 8 R is 8 and then now in the outermost shell see here as per this atom for this atom 16 electrons are there 2 8 6 so what is the outermost shell for this atom the third shell is the outermost shell because the process of filling of electrons is completed in the third shell therefore this third shell becomes the outermost shell or the last shell are the last shell or outermost shell. So look here, in the outermost shell, why it is called the outermost shell? Because in the process of filling electrons, in stepwise, stepwise manner, so third shell is the last shell, where we can put the electrons. Therefore, this third shell becomes the outermost shell. See here, in the third shell, that is outermost shell for this atom, for this atom, six electrons are there. The rule says that maximum number of electrons present in the outermost shell should be 8. 8 in the just wall mila. See, here 6 are there. Therefore, we also obeyed the third rule. We also obeyed the third rule. So, we obeyed all these three rules. The first rule is we have to fill electrons as per 
the formula 2n square into the respective shells for k it is 2 l h m 18 n 32 like that we obeyed that rule also so therefore we filled to 8 in the next now we have to fill the electrons in stepwise manner that is from k to l to m to n like that and the last shell or the outermost shell should be having max it can have 8 electrons in that that is why we have to fill that so these are the three rules for the distribution of electrons in any atom given by Bohr and Buri, right? Now, these three rules are not used to be By using all these three rules, we are going to distribute electrons in some atoms, that is first 18 atoms. Which are the first 18 elements? <coughs> Hydrogen, Helium, Sidna rules and now you work away, they will ask this question for two or three marks. <coughs> so now you know the rules for filling the electrons in an atom, right? Rules first one now, sharp it up with the node 2 8 18 32. This is the first rule in general, right? Second rule, and we have to go from inner to outermost shells. That is, from we have to fill first K, then L, then M, then N, like that. Third one, you know outermost shell that is last shell should have maximum 8 electrons I think very good less than or equal to 8 and then the end of the end see you generally three rules so let's take uh, some elements the first 18 elements hydrogen the first one is what hydrogen hydrogen you need an electrons number very thin hydrogen I write electrons, the number of electrons in this column, the protons in this column, neutrons in this column. Right? See here, the first element is what? Hydrogen. Right? Hydrogen. Symbol is H. In the hydrogen, there is one electron and one proton, no neutrons. Right? No neutrons. Next one. Helium. Second one is what? Helium. Two protons and two electrons, two electrons, two protons, two neutrons also there in the helium. Next one. Lithium. Third element is lithium. Symbol is Li. So, lithium is equal to 3 electrons, 3 protons, 4 neutrons. 4 neutrons. There is no need to that the protons and neutrons should be equal. There is no need of that protons and neutrons should be equal. Right? Now, the first, uh, the second, uh, fourth one is beryllium. 4 electrons, 4 protons. In any atom, in any neutral atom, electrons and protons should be same. Neutrons can be more than protons. Beryllium. In beryllium, we have five electrons. Sorry, five neutrons. Next one was hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium. Next boron. Five electrons, five protons. Then we have six. We have six neutrons. For what? For boron. Next one comes carbon, 6 electrons, 6 protons, 6 neutrons, all are equal here. Next, nitrogen, the seventh one is nitrogen, 7 electrons, 7 protons, 7 neutrons, 
फॉलोइंग ऑक्सीजन एट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एट प्रोटॉन्स एट न्यूट्रॉन्स फॉलोइंग राइट नेक्स्ट वी हैव फ्लोरिन एफ नाइन प्रोटॉन्स नाइन न्यूट्रॉन्स टेन फॉर दट न्यूट्रॉन्स नेक्स्ट वी हैव नियन द टेन वन इज नियन टेन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टेन प्रोटॉन्स टेन न्यूट्रॉन्स फॉलो फॉर नियन टेन 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 फॉर फ्लोरिन नाइन नाइन टेन right now we have to distribute electrons as per those three rules okay so let's take hydrogen one proton and zero neutrons they should be present in where at the center that is at the nucleus so one proton is present in the center and one electron is there in the hydrogen atom it should be present in what in the first shell only that is in the k shell therefore one electron is present in k shell that's it this is the arrangement for the distribution of electron in hydrogen atom usually we take this you know proton and neutron as plus that is nucleus in the center we do not care about the number of protons and neutrons in the center while writing the electron arrangement while writing electron arrangement we will not care about the protons and neutrons in the center we just take it as plus some positive nucleus where it contains protons and neutrons in total togetherly right therefore this is for hydrogen if one electron is present in the first shell how many electrons we can fill in the first shell two electrons but in other one only one matra aktini this is for hydrogen next for helium two electrons so two protons and two neutrons both of them present in what in nucleus so i take it as just a nucleus in this nucleus we have two protons and two neutrons why i just wrote positive here because protons has positive charge neutrons have no charge therefore plus charge plus no charge is again plus charge therefore in the, in the center in the nucleus it has positive charge that's why i just wrote some circle plus indicating it is the nucleus which contains two protons and two neutrons and now we have two electrons for the helium for the helium and we know that in the first shell you can fill the two electrons you can fill the two electrons if i just put two dots indicating two electrons are present in the first shell so this is for the helium now for lithium the nucleus which contains three protons and four neutrons in the center and three electrons should be filled how with respect to those rules therefore in the first shell we can put only two electrons in the second shell the remaining one electron i put here in the second shell somewhere in that circle so one two three three electrons done therefore i put or i filled first inner shell then the outer shell now which is outermost shell here the second is the outermost shell or the last shell in the process of filling electrons the three electrons i ended up in the second circle that is in the second shell so this shell becomes the outermost shell this becomes the inner shell so i filled inner shell first that is the second rule then i went to the last shell that is the l shell now look here the last shell or outermost shell has only one electron which is less than 8 therefore third rule is also obeyed so like this we have to go lithium i the beryllium so nucleus which contains what and what four protons five neutrons in the center and four electrons are there two can be filled in the first shell that is k shell and other two can be filled in the next shell because in the first shell no more than two electrons can be filled held in the just that part only therefore in the third or in sorry in the second i need to fill other two electrons this is for beryllium for boron five electrons this is nucleus in the first we have two in the second we have three one two three so this is the electronic arrangement for boron right two in the first three in the second now for carbon nucleus next there are carbon and six electrons therefore two in the first four in the second 
that's it right this is for carbon next one is what nitrogen nucleus seven electrons are there in nitrogen therefore two in the first five in the second five in the second so don't care about the the exact uh, structure of circle other big attention to everybody right so five see in the second cell we can fill up to eight so i filled five here so we didn't uh, uh, or for the rule here we just went as per the rule right now oxygen eight electrons are there see nucleus two should be filled in the first or oh, 10 to the way and lock it in in our way therefore i have to fill the other six electrons in the second cell one two three four five six follow it hydrogen helium lithium beryllium yes lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen so this is how we can fill electrons in the given elements or in the given atoms by using those three rules ee next fluorine ide appa nitrogen edu neon ide ill akana ill akla fluorine matte neon so nucleus for the fluorine right next the fluorine alli nine electrons are there therefore two in the first remain with the seven what nine idave ered aakidini nodu ulitave therefore seven in the second so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this is for fluorine now we have neon now we have neon neon how many electrons are there n electrons are there therefore nucleus two in the first cell that is k cell remain with eight electrons atra eldo the rent ulitaval what so those eight electrons should be filled in the second shell now tell me second shell i am going to fill eight electrons 3 4 5 6 7 8 right now in the process of filling 10 electrons into the neon atom the last shell is l shell therefore this becomes the outermost shell here this is the inner shell this is the outermost shell what is the third rule here in outermost shell the maximum number of electrons should be eight see here eight that's it aga illi kuda rule ude madidevi ent irabodu ent ent kinta kadime irabodu that's why in the second cell there are eight electrons in neon so ee tara fill markonta hogodu next sodium thagolla ekar next element is sodium i think you all artha idu anusutte idu neeve circle lakkondu neeve notes alli it are dot 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 akta kaliri right so i go to the other other eight eight elements the next eight elements that is sodium e and a 11 electrons 11 protons following 11 electrons 11 protons 12 neutrons 12 neutrons sodium and magnesium 12 electrons 12 protons 12 neutrons 12 neutrons now sodium magnesium aluminium is a 13th element 1 3 1 3 that is 14 neutrons are there now aluminium silicon is the 14 14 14 silicon symbol is si and 14 neutrons are there 14 neutrons are there in silicon right next comes phosphorus 15 15 following 15 electrons 15 protons 16 neutrons next comes sulfur 16, 16 electrons 16 protons 16 neutrons 16 neutrons next comes chlorine 17 electrons 17 protons 18 what is that sir 18 neutrons 
next come uh, what is that uh, chlorine argon 18 electrons 18 protons 22 neutrons it's not 18 22 neutrons are there more number of neutrons are present in argon making total mass 22 plus 18 40 here 35 right so like this we have electrons and protons and neutrons in the first 18 elements now i'm going to talk about sodium here so i'm going to rub these things so this is fluorine in nursery berry the fluorine bro So in fluorine and neon, fluorine is to 9 electrons, therefore 2 in the first shell, 7 in the second shell. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that's it. Now for neon, this is for fluorine, neon, 10 electrons are there, nucleus, 2 in the first. 8 in the 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in the second shell. Next we have sodium, the 11th element. Nucleus, 11 electrons are there, 2 in the first shell, 8 in the second shell, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Add in Tatta, I think, 1 Dulita. Illak Budla, Umutta, Akla, Illon, that will electron in the second cell, Akangilla, because it should not be more than eight. Therefore, we have to go to the third shell. In the third shell, we can put only one electron. Therefore, two, K shell two, L shell eight, K two, L eight, and M has only one electron. See? M becomes the outermost shell here. In the process of filling electrons, the last shell that I used is M shell. So this becomes the outermost. M becomes the outermost or the last shell. So outermost shell has only one electron, which is less than eight. So we just followed rules. We just followed rules here. This is sodium. Magnesium, pearl are there. Nucleus, this is sodium. So let's we have magnesium. Positive nucleus, we have 2 in the first, 8 in the next, 6, 7, 8, and 9, 2, in 2 is the way, therefore 2 in the next, 1, 2. For aluminium, 3, in one birthday. For silicon, 4, in one birthday. For phosphorus, 15 electrons are there. 2 plus 8, 10 is done, 5 electrons remain, I need to put the 5 dots in the third, for, for phosphorus. For sulphur, 16 electrons are there, 2, 8, 10 is done, 6 remain, therefore I have to put 6 dots in the third shell for sulphur. Right? Next, chlorine is there, 17 electrons are there, 2, 8, 10, 2, in 7 we have to put 7 electrons in the third shell. Very good, chlorine. 2, sorry, nucleus, 2 dots in the first shell, K shell, 8 in the second, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Ni2, 17 electrons are there in chlorine, therefore, 7 remains, we have to fill those 7 in the last shell, that is in the outermost shell, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right, this is for chlorine. We have argon, that is nucleus, 2, we have 8 in the second, right, 8 in the second, third only, again we have 8, because 2 plus 8, 10, so remain with 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now this third shell is the outermost shell for argon, which is having 8 electrons. So the atoms 
which has eight electrons in their outermost shell. We say that those atoms have octet configuration. Octet means eight in two. Any atom which has eight electrons in the outermost shell, like me, am. See, the outermost shell is the second shell here because at that we go, we are talking the next end that we go. Only process done now. The process of putting electrons is done. So the last shell that I used is second shell. Therefore, that becomes the outermost shell. Now in the outermost shell there are eight electrons. So maximum number of electrons is eight in the outermost shell. If it is filled completely filled, therefore any atom which has completely filled or eight filled electrons or eight electrons filled, if an, elect if an atom has outermost shell which is completely filled or eight filled, completely filled under entry becomes third. If it has eight electrons in that, we say that that atom has octet configuration. It has octet configuration or eight configuration. Eight configuration. Like that, argon also has eight configuration or octet configuration. Why? Because in the last shell, in the third shell, it has eight electrons. In the last shell, that is in the second shell for neon, it has eight electrons. Therefore, this has octet configuration. This also has octet configuration. Where hydrogen nucleus only one electron is there for hydrogen, right? For helium, two electrons are there, so two electrons in the first shell only. Is there? So this is structure for helium. Now look at the helium. This is the first and last shell for helium. Is the first and the last one? The first shell can have only two electrons. That is, K has only two electrons. Has to have two electrons only. So this kind of uh, configuration is known as doublet or duplet. Duplet configuration. D U P L E T. Duplet. Double number. Double number. Duplet configuration. Right. So that is octet configuration. <coughs> Therefore, an atom which has Helium bitre doublet configuration is also possible. That is the second elemental. Why? Here there are two electrons. So 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 here Those atoms which has doublet or octet configuration, and the last atomoshellal, the last atom, 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 the Why? Because they have eight electrons in their outermost shell. Eight electrons in their outermost shell, or two electrons in the outermost shell for helium only. Except helium, everybody has octet configuration, or eight electrons in the outermost shell. So we call those atoms or uh, those elements as inert gases or inert elements. Inert elements. The meaning of inert is chemically inactive. Inert means inactive. Any calcium or all that, all that. अब ऐन इनर्टली अंतर अब ऐन जडदल मनुष्य अतर कन्डदली फिसक्सल इनर्शिया अंत ओद ना ला आफ् इनर्शिया जड़त्व नियम अंत जड़त्व मीन जड हिड़ तोड़प अंतर अंदर अवेन आक्षन अरे आक्टिव मनुष्य जड हिड़ तोड़े जड नोड़ मनुष्य हिंग कल सो दट ईज इंडिकेटिंग दट दी आटम्स आर् कैमिकल इन आक्टिव दे डू नाट रियाक्ट वित् अदर एलिमेंट्स Therefore, we can say that why they do, why they don't react with other elements, because they have already fulfilled octet configuration. Those atoms or those elements which have octet configuration in the outermost shell, no, they don't want to react with other body, with other elements or with other atoms. Why? Because they have already fully filled outermost shell. Only those atoms which have Not fully filled outermost shell, they participate in chemical reactions. They show chemical tendency to react, or they have chemical capacity, chemically combining capacity. Which one? Those which are having less than eight electrons in the outermost shell. Those which are having fully eight electrons in the outermost shell, 
or octet configuration, they do not participate in chemical reactions. Even though they participate, that too very, very less under special conditions. Under special conditions only, some of these inert gases or inert elements, that is, which are having octet configuration, then only they participate in chemical reactions. That is, under special conditions. That is, in very, very less number of reactions. But these elements which have less than 8 electrons in the outermost shell, they participate in chemical reactions very widely. Therefore, if you atom or if you have element in the outermost shell, you will be able to involve chemical reactions. If you have an octet configuration, you will be able to involve chemical reactions. That is also a very important thing. That is special conditions. Right? So, now, we are going to deal. So, this is electronic configuration or electronic arrangement in an atom. Following those three rules. Our three rules are follow maadi, e thara arrange maadi vek now. E thara 2, 8, 18, 32, e thara principle account of vek, right? <coughs> now, we are going to talk about uh, valency. What is this valency? Valency and Renapa. See electronics, that is electron arrangement to go tight to. You got valence begin with the runner. valency right ignore neon neon up a plus so two electrons eight electrons in the outermost shell five six seven eight right eight electrons in the outermost shell the number of electrons which are present in the outermost shell. This is OMS, outermost shell. The number of electrons which are present in the outermost shell, it is known as valence electrons. Here, 8 electrons are there in OMS, outermost shell. Therefore, 8 electrons, they are called as valence electrons. Valence electrons, not valency. The terms are different. Valence electrons. Therefore, the number of electrons which are present in the outermost shell of an atom, they are called as valence electrons. This is for neon. For neon, it is 8 electrons. 8 valence electrons are there. If I say an atom has 7 valence electrons, means 7 electrons are present in the outermost shell. If an atom has 3, outer, uh, three valence electrons, means 3 electrons are present in the outermost shell in the OMS like this only, right? So, for one marks, they are, they are going to ask definition of what are valence electrons, the number of electrons which are present in the outermost shell of an atom known as valence electrons, right? Now, for chlorine, plus 2 in the first, 8 in the next, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is the same thing. This is the same thing. This is the same thing. So, 7 in the last. 5, 6, 7. Now, tell me how many valence electrons are there in chlorine? 7 electrons are there. 7, 7 valence electrons are there in chlorine. Because in the outermost shell, 7 electrons are there. Right? So, like this. So, 7 are there. So, valence electrons are 7 here. Number of valence electrons is 7 in chlorine, 8 in neon, argon 8, OMS and NT2, hydrogen only 1, helium 2 electrons are there in the shell, in the first shell, therefore that becomes the valence electrons. 
ಫಾರ್ ಲೀಲಿಯಂ ತ್ರೀ ತ್ರೀನ ಒನ್ ನಾ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಲೀಲಿಯಂ ಹೆಂಗೆ ಬರಿತೀವಿ ಟು ಇನ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಶೆಲ್ ಒನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಶೆಲ್ ಇಫ್ ಅವರ್ ವೇಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಈಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ವೇಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ವೇಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಲೀಲಿಯಂ ಯಾವ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಶೆಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟಿರ್ತವೆ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಗಳು ಅಷ್ಟನ್ನು ವೇಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತೀವಿ ಹಾಗೆ ಐ ಸೋಲ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ದೋಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಏಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಓ ಎಮ್ ಎಸ್ ದೇ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಶೋ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ದೇ ಶೋ ಇವೆನ್ ದೋ ದೇ ಶೋ ಇವೆನ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಶೋ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಲೆಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಲೆಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ವೆರ್ ಎಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಲೆಸ್ ದನ್ ಎಟ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಓ ಎಮ್ ಎಸ್ ದೇ ಶೋ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ವೈಡ್ ರೇಂಜ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆಟಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕಂಬೈನ್ ವಿತ್ ಅದರ್ ಆಟಮ್ಸ್ to make up molecules why because this chlorine atom wants to have eight electrons in this so if somebody is here if somebody comes here suppose let us say sodium yes appa sodium 11 alva 2 in the first 8 in the next so 4 8 in the next one in the third so this is for sodium sodium now this chlorine has seven electrons in the outermost shell this sodium has only one electron in the outermost shell therefore valence electrons is one valence electrons here seven each and every atom wants to have octet configuration like how our argon neon xenon krypton how they have no eight electrons in the outermost shell these are also boy wants these also wants to have eight electrons in the outermost shell how can they have eight electrons in the outermost shell when they take some electrons from some other atoms or when they lose electrons to some other now look here here seven electrons are there in chlorine right seven here one year for sodium in the valence shell now what if sodium loses this electron what if this electron is come is coming here that is if the, if the sodium loses that electron that lost electron to the chlorine what if that electron comes to this lost shell that is ymss now eight will be here no electron will be in the third shell leaving the second shell eight electrons one kalkondre if the sodium gives one electron to this chlorine so sodium will have octet configuration in the second shell at the same time this chlorine will have if this electron comes here now the chlorine will have octet configuration in the third shell so both of them will have octet configuration now therefore each and every atom which has no eight electrons in the oms no they try to have eight electrons in the oms or in the previous shell in this case eight electrons in the oms in this case eight electrons in the previous shell or in the inner shell by sharing electrons or by losing electrons here sodium loses electron one electron to become octet configuration inside chlorine gains one electron from the sodium and it became octet configuration it became octet configuration so this process of losing or gaining from this process of losing or gaining so they got octet configuration once they gain electron cl becomes cl minus i told you if it gains one electron it becomes cl minus if sodium loses one electron it becomes sodium plus now there is some kind of attraction force between this chloride that is chloride and sodium ion if it loses electron it becomes sodium ion not sodium atom if this gains electron it becomes chloride ion not chlorine atom so cl minus it gains one it becomes cl minus it loses one it becomes na plus now some kind of attraction force is playing between this na plus and cl minus and making it as a new compound known as sodium chloride the eating salt that is the eatable salt ukko tintivalla right so this is how the chemical reactions occur in our nature so one loses electron one gains electron for the only intention for the only purpose of having octet configuration end aagbek astalli therefore chemical reactivity or the chemical tendency to react with other atoms 
can be explained on the basis of octet configuration. We can say that every atom or any atom which has less than 8 electrons in the OMS now, it tries to have 8 electrons in that OMS by combining with other. Right? Or just by showing some chemical activity to towards other elements or other atom. This is losing and gaining happened. Sometimes sharing happens. How? Look here. Chlorine and chlorine. See? Chlorine in a part. Two. In the first, next you know, eight in the next, thirdly, seven in the last, or one chlorine. Let me have other chlorine here. Jagella, ille torstine. Other chlorine, so one chlorine. Plus, two, 8, 7. That's where the number is. In one chlorine, no? 2, 8, 7. Right? Now, out of these 7 electrons, what if this chlorine gives 1 electron to the center in, place, in, the, in the place between them and this, this chlorine also gives 1 electron to the center? Such that uh, 6 will remain here, 6 will remain here. And there are all electrons, only one will be the other in the illiberal, the other in the illiberal. Or with the other with the other. Now these two electrons are shared between these two chlorine atoms. So this is chlorine, this is also chlorine. One chlorine atom shared its one electron from the OMS to the middle place. This chlorine atom also shared one electron to the middle place, leaving 6, 6 in the OMS. Now, these two electrons belongs to both chlorine. They belongs to both chlorine. This is what sharing process. I give you one, you give me one, so let the two belongs to me and you also. Now on the one center in the center in the center place. So let the two electrons belongs to me and to you also. Now look here, six in the outermost, two in the share place. So these two shared electrons is going to be counted with the six electrons, making it as octet configuration. It are sharing. This is lithium. Sodium. Sodium. Magnesium. Magnesium is equal to plus 2, 8, 2 in the third shell of the is it better to lose two electrons to some other atom or gaining six electrons to the third shell? Or to one or to one better to add lose one better? It is better to lose two electrons to some other atom instead of gaining six electrons. The gaining of six electrons is the heavy process. It's very tough process. Sir. Whereas losing of two electrons to some other atom is very easy process. That's why here the magnesium is going to lose two electrons to somebody and making eight electrons in the inner shell or octet configuration. That's why valency of the magnesium is two. So what is valency? It is the number of electrons that an atom loses or gains or shares. One share is only one share. Is one share is one share. That's why valency of the chlorine is one. Valence of the magnesium is 2 because it loses 2 electrons. It loses 2 electrons to make out octet inside. Therefore, valence of the magnesium is 2. If what is valency? It is the number of electrons that an atom loses or gains or shares in order to have octet configuration. End to configuration burly course is to lose more to waste to gain more to waste share more to other valency and TV. Right? So this is what about valency. Carbon. Next up, six electrons are there. So two in the first, four in the second. One, two, three, four. Now tell me, in order to make eight electrons in the second shell, we have to bring four electrons. Or we have to give these four electrons. Usually carbon involves in sharing. 
it doesn't lose it doesn't gain usually the carbon do not lose doesn't lose or doesn't gain electrons here usually usually it shares it shares all the four electrons to somebody in our bartana illi for example oxygen nodi ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಎಷ್ಟಿದಪ್ಪ ನಾನು ಲಾ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಮಾತ್ರ ತಗೋತೀನಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಅವನ್ನ ಸೊ ಒಳಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಎರಡು ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಬಿಡ್ತೀನಿ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಔಟ್ ಮೋಷನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಹೆಂಗಿರುತ್ತಪ್ಪ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಗೆ ಹೇಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತವೆ ಔಟ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನಾನು ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಗೆ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತಗೊತೀನಿ ಹೌದಾ ಒನ್ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ನಾ ವಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಮಿಡಲ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಮಿಡಲ್ ನಾವು ಅನದರ್ ಕಾರ್ಬ ಅನದರ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ so six electrons are here right now this carbon sends these two electrons to the middle and these two electrons from the oxygen will come in the middle so two electrons two electrons from each carbon atom two electrons from two electrons from each carbon and oxygen atom now these eight electrons belongs to carbon so like this these shared electrons belongs to both of carbon and oxygen these four belongs to both carbon and oxygen now look here 4 plus 4 8 4 plus 4 8 4 plus 4 8 for carbon therefore 8 8 8 octet 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 done so this is how by sharing process they will get octet configuration by losing or by gaining they will get octet configuration therefore the number of electrons that an atom loses or gains or shares in order to have octet configuration that's the valency of the atom i think you got the point right <coughs> so ee tara what is valence ante helidde nanu in the next class i will just show you the valence of all those 18 elements hsst ante helthini so before i show what are the valence what is the valence of each and every of those 18 elements you just work on yourself andre hydrogen thagoli one electron ide ಹೌದು ಔಟರ್ ಮೋಷನಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಇದೆ ಫಸ್ಟಲ್ಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಏನು ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಇದು ಇಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಪ್ಲೆಟ್ ಆರ್ ಡುಪ್ಲೆಟ್ ಆರ್ ಡುವೆಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಒಂದು ಇರೋದು ಎರಡು ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ನಟ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಯಾವುದು ಇಲಿಯಮ್ ಇಲಿಯಮ್ಗೆ ಏನಿರುತ್ತೆ ಡುವೆಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಎರಡು ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಐಡಿಯನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡುವೆಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಅವಾಗ ಏನು ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಚಾನ್ಸು ಒಂದು ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಇದು ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ಬರಿಗೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ಬರಿಂದ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ತೊಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಇವರಿಂದ ಒಂದು ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ಬರಿಂದ ಒಂದು ಬಂದರೆ ಸಿ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಗಳು ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ಗೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಡುತ್ತೆ ಅವಾಗ ಬಿಗೆಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಬಂದು ಈ ಥರ ಒನ್ ಶೇರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಶೇರ್ ಆಯಿತು ಬೈ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ವೇಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಈ ಥರ ಸೊ ಯು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಗೋ ಆನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಏಟಿನ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ವೇಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೋಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೊ ಅಂಟಿಲ್ ದೆನ